But I got to listen. And it's about, well, it took six hours on Friday to get up there because, of course, the Pennsylvania Turnpike had a blizzard. Of course it did uh, on Friday. Yesterday, returning drive took about five hours. So I got to listen to Dan Senor's Call Me Back pod with Yossi klein Halevi, who will join me, I hope, on Thursday or Friday from Israel, and uh, Rabbi Ingbar from New York talking about the war. And then I got to listen to the commentary podcast, and it was John Von Hortz and Abe Greenwald and Matt Continenti and uh, our friend uh, Seth Mandel. And these two, I, I put it out a few times, and about 60,000 of you have retweeted it or looked at it, and I hope you listen to it because the turn that occurred against Israel on Thursday, I wasn't broadcasting. I heard Dwayne talk about it. I'm very glad Dwayne sat in for me so he could communicate to, uh, to you our collective anger at Joe Biden and Anthony Blinken, mostly at Blinken. You know, Biden doesn't really know what he's doing, and you know that, and I know that, and everybody knows that. Who knows what he said to Joe? But Anthony Blinken still has his marbles and, and went up there and said, Israel's becoming, uh, this is a paraphrase, Israel's becoming Hamas. We, if they continue to act like this, this was after the tragic death of the seven aid workers. Israel's becoming Hamas. That is disgusting. It's obscene. I was on Special Report on Thursday night before I left on early Friday morning to go to Ohio, and that came up. I said, that's just obscene. Compared to Donald Trump on Thursday, the former president tells me, Israel's got to hurry up and finish the job. It must get victory. It's losing the PR war. Anthony Blinken comes out and says, Israel's becoming Hamas. By the way, do you know how Hamas, after all that, you know what they did on Saturday on the eve of the six-month anniversary? They popped out of a tunnel. They killed four IDF soldiers. And then they popped back, cowards as they are, hiding behind human shields down into the tunnels. And the West wants Israel. They've lost 262 soldiers, 604, including those massacred reservists and soldiers active duty. Uh, 1,200 dead on, on 